Hey YouTube, it's Modern Day Muscle. I'm back at you with another video. I'm doing something a little different today since subtropical storm Alberto has taken over Memorial Day weekend in Florida. I haven't mentioned this in my videos till now, but I have had a taser from Z Automotive in my scat pack this whole time. Shout out to Z Automotive. They have an amazing product and uh, I hope they continue to update it as much as they do now. I figured since it was raining, I can go over how simple it is to update your firmware on your taser from version 2.4.1 to version 2.4.3. For this update, you will of course need a taser and a mini USB to USB cable. I will put links in the description for each. I'll start by showing what features are given for the latest firmware update. Now keep in mind I am updating from 2.4.1 to 2.4.3, so the updates from firmware versions 2.4.2 will apply as well. Also, since I am updating from 2.4.1, it does not require me to put the car back to stock or the term in the taser menu called unmarry. For those watching this video that have not updated their firmware to at least 2.4.1, you will need to return their vehicle back to stock and then update their firmware. All right, cool. Now that I've gotten all the disclaimers out of the way, let's talk about the updates. So the updates here on the website that I'm going to talk about are not every update that I'm going to talk about in this video. The reason why I'm choosing to talk about certain updates over others is because I'm talking about updates that I'm going to be using personally and what I think other people are going to use as well. The first feature I'm going to talk about is the travel link disable. This means that you will have the ability to disable the pop-up window that displays weather alerts on your infotainment display. For me, this is great news because I always get alerts that have nothing to do with where I live. So I'm glad that I'm able to disable it. So I'm very happy that um, Z Automotive thought of this feature and added it. As a disclaimer, if you choose to disable travel link, it will also disable satellite traffic in your uh, onboard navigation system on the vehicle. So basically, if you're using the onboard navigation system, it will not divert you from traffic because it will be disabled. So the next feature is submenu structure. What this basically means is that they've organized the features into categories now. So the categories are performance, tire, radio, lighting, comfort, easy exit and then at the end it'll show you what firmware version you're on. I personally think this is a better way to organize where the features are on the taser. We also got bug fixes and stability improvements. I'm pretty sure this goes without saying that this just means that Z Automotive is making the taser better and better and it shows. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to update your firmware on your taser. So in order to do that you need to hook up your taser up to your computer with the USB cable that I talked about in the beginning of the video. And then uh, if you already have a taser, then you should have ZPU on your uh, PC. If you don't have ZPU on your PC, I will add a link to the description so you can go download it. It is very easy to use. Um, once you have your taser hooked up to your PC, you just open up ZPU and then you hit update firmware. Once you hit update firmware, it's gonna tell you what firmware your taser is on, and then it's gonna fetch um, the new firmware and then ask if you wanna update. So then you click to um, let it update. And then this update took roughly five to 10 minutes. So uh, I'll see you back when it's updated. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you that the update did indeed work. So let's uh, get right into it. So we're at the audio screen. That's the screen you need to be at when you want to change things on the taser. And uh, I know you guys can't see my hands, but my left hand is holding the left directional button on the left hand side of the wheel. And, hold on, let me focus up here. And my right hand is uh, holding, well, pressing the cancel button to navigate through the menus. So as we navigate, you see lighting, comfort, the version number, full reboot, clear cells, unmarry, performance, tire, radio. So we're going to go into radio and then this is where you're going to see the, uh, the travel link. So I already put the travel link to no. I already updated it because I was way too excited to go get that taken off my car but you would just go to radio to just take that off but um here I'll keep showing you the uh, the different categories so comfort that's just splash screen like I was talking about earlier no belt ding I don't like the belt ding so I take it off but ladies and gentlemen please wear your seat belts I'm not condoning not wearing your seat belts I just don't like to hear the noise that's the version number showing you that it it did indeed work 
So yeah, if you have any um, questions about um, what else the taser can do or, you know, just uh, something that I missed or, you know, something that you think I could add in a later video, just let me know. All right, guys, uh, this video is done and uh, I'll catch you on the next video.